Hello, all the Scorpios out there. How are you doing? This is Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. And today, excuse me, I'm moving stuff out of the way here. Um, I'm here to do your monthly love read. Happy Valentine's Day to all you Scorpios out there, too. I'm hoping you're having a good day. So let's get to it. This is going to be your love read. And um, it's just um, what may be going on in your life right now. So I ask that you, you know, close your eyes or stop for a minute. You can pause the video if you like. Um, just take a moment to think about your situation or your person. And, um, you know, focus on that. And then we'll see what, come, what messages come up for you. I've already meditated and pre-shuffled the cards. And so, did a few more shuffles here just to kind of include your energy in the, in the deck and the messages here. Deep breath to clear your mind, too. Helps me. I'm, I'm thinking maybe it'll help you, too. Okay, spirit. What messages do you have for our Scorpios today and for the month of February 2020 in regards to their love situation? Or maybe their hopes and dreams and love. What messages do you have for all the Scorpios out there? Okay. So today is February 14th. Um, this is a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you. So just keep that in mind. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, I do um, suggest to watch the whole video, even if it doesn't seem to resonate in the beginning. I have done this many times, and I find that uh, if it doesn't seem to resonate in the beginning, as the video goes on, sometimes I do find messages that do apply. So not everything does, but there are some messages that come out and that, that I do resonate with. So I encourage you to watch the whole video. Um, but if it doesn't resonate, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, and I am recording this on February 14th, 2020, but do keep in mind that time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So although you, I'm recording this on February 14th, this doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen today, Valentine's Day, or it doesn't even mean it's going to happen this month. It could have, some of this could have already happened. Some of this may be happening as, as we're doing this reading, it's already in the process or it's going to be in the future. Um, and also, depending on when you watch the video, if you're watching this video um, a couple of weeks from now, a couple of days from now, even next month, um, yes, this is the, these are the energies for February 2020. But because energy is fluid, this energy can flow into forward into the next month or beyond. So whenever you happen to click on and are guided to watch this message, this video, I mean, um, that is most likely when you're meant to receive the message, that there is most likely something in there for you. Okay. All right. Oh, and also, these are not gender-specific. So if I refer to the cards as uh, he or she, that's just the energies of the card, masculine or feminine energies. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us, but your gender, whether you're male or female, has absolutely nothing to do with this with this video. Um, and also, this is a, based on Scorpio's sun. But if this doesn't resonate, you might want to... I always encourage uh, everyone to... to um, like Google or look up their chart if you don't already know it, the placements in your chart. This can also apply to your moon, your Venus, or your rising signs. Sometimes your Mars and Jupiter too, um, but and this Venus in, Venus in particular because this is a love read and Venus is how you deal with or handle your love situations. Um, so if this does resonate, you can look to those, those um, placements in your chart to get even further um, information. It's almost like a bonus read. So, you know, and if this does resonate, I mean, if this doesn't resonate, then maybe those will resonate more. Again, it's your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. But again, I say Venus in particular, because that is your, um, that's your, uh, love placement, so to speak, how you handle love or your love situations. Okay. Let's get going. What do you have for a spirit? What do you have for the Scorpio? It's not us, not me. I'm not a Scorpio. I'm a water sign, but I'm not a Scorpio. And I'm a Cancer on the cusp of Leo. So I am Cancer, but I'm not your typical Cancer because I have um, mostly fire and air in my... Well, really all fire and air in my charts. 
So my sun sign is my only water sign. So I'm not typical Cancer. But, all right. I think Spirit just told me that is it. And that was pretty good. Spirit knows exactly what they want to say because that was pretty quick. Okay, let's get your general energy, Scorpio. This has popped up in so many readings. So, a lot of people are dealing with this. The Eight of Swords keeps popping up in readings, especially in the love readings. And a lot of you, this is Scorpio, a lot of you are in your heads about something. You feel like you're trapped or bound, but what that's saying is you're, you're overthinking something or trapped or bound in your head somehow. What I'm hearing is you either don't see something or refusing to see something. And you're in your head about it. You're creating these scenarios in your head. Let me just see. Underneath that is the fool. The fool is kind of like a devil may care, free spirit type energy. Kind of go with the flow. And if there's something you're questioning, it's asking you to take a leap of faith. Maybe. Let me see what's under that. Yeah, you're in the dark about something. Something is a mystery. And this could be you, Scorpio. We water signs. We kind of run our emotions and our... We run pretty deep. We can have some pretty deep emotions. Let me just look at these three together, very, just to get the energy here. And see if anything else comes out for me here. I'm even going to go to the next card under that. Let me... And I'll show you. This is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups can mean a beginning, a new beginning in love. But many times it means self-love. Filling your own cup. And the third eye here is your intuition. What I'm hearing with the moon phases up here. So being in the dark to the full moon, which is which is um, more of an illumination. It's as if your intuition is opening your eyes to something. And with the high priestess, I'm hearing very loudly that this is calling for you to get out of your thoughts and tap into your intuition. What is your heart? What is your gut telling you? And, and you need to take some sort of leap of faith. It's like throw caution to the wind. I don't know why, but I'm hearing dance to the beat of your own drum. Scorpios are usually very passionate people. So this could very well mean that you have a uh, deep passion for somebody. But you're kind of maybe questioning the situation or caught in your head about something. Kind of set those free. And... I almost see this card as a, um, whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. Lighten your load a little bit. Whatever happens, happens. But use your intuition. I'm hearing intuition very, very, and the chariots after that. So it's calling to move forward. All right, let's get into the rest of the cards. All right, if I need to, I'll go back to that and refer it, refer to it. But you're definitely caught in your thoughts. Because it's almost, um, to go back to the Eight of Swords, it's a false sense of, being bound or trapped. Yeah, it's like you're refusing to see something or you just can't see something yet. And this person is not, the person, is she in the car again? Not male or female person here, whoever's watching. Um, yes, she is bound by chains, but they're very loose. She could easily slip her hands out. These, not only are they suspended above the water, there's gaps between them. So this person is keeping them uh, caught in the situation by their thoughts on their own. You can easily get out and it's asking for a leap of faith. You need to just take that step forward and then whatever it is in this, this love situation will open up for you. So let's do... Um, so how I read cards that come face down and then if we have face up cards... Are these are what's underlying either the surface of the issue or what's inside of you, like dormant within you. 
that maybe others don't see or maybe you're not even aware of. And as far as the face-up cards, that's what's on the surface or maybe external in the, the going on externally in the situation. Let's see what we have. We have, hmm, we have the Nine of Swords and the Sun. As you may already know, the Sun is a very positive card. And I'm hearing this very, very loudly. The Knight of Swords is a type of energy moving forward no matter what the cost. Sometimes it can be a little irrational. But what I'm thinking here is, yes, it may be irrational behavior. Maybe this is something you wouldn't normally do. Maybe you're into someone and you want to ask them out. Again, male or female. And heterosexual couples, same-sex couples, doesn't matter. You take it as it resonates for your situation. There's no stipulations on that. It's all about energy, not about gender or even, like I said, sun signs. This is, this. yes, this is for Scorpio. But as far as, like the sun card is a Leo card, so you could be dealing with the Leo. Um, they usually base it if you're going to look for sun signs on Major Arcana. So, so far, all we have is a Leo, but it does not have to be Leo. Um, I, that's what I'm hearing, because with the sun card is, and we'll go back to this, step out of your thoughts. Don't even worry. Don't worry about it. Maybe you're worrying too much about it. Take a leap of faith. What does your gut tell you? What does your intuition tell you? What does your intuition tell you in your heart? And only you know that. You may need to take a minute and, you know, uh, stop and be by yourself and think about it. But take a leap of faith. Because I'm hearing that it's going to turn out in your favor. The sun is going to shine on um, this connection, whatever this connection is. And if you haven't met the person, maybe you you don't know Um in other words, maybe you're wanting to meet someone. You'd like to be in a relationship. Maybe Valentine's Day is bringing that up in your head and you're thinking that. But don't get caught in a thought of, I'm never going to find my true love. I'm never going to have someone in my life. If that's the case, because uh, that's not true. That's not true. You may very well be, if you step aside, put those thoughts aside. Think positive. And not even focus on finding love. And I, I, I totally, when you stop looking for love, that's when you find it. That happened to me, and it just blew me away. It was surreal, actually. It was like, what? <laughs> yeah. So, um, but the Knight of Swords, I'm sorry if you hear the siren. Maybe it's an emergency. <laughs> Hurry up, get to your person. <laughs> it's a love emergency. <laughs> you have so much love, you just have to hurry up and get there and rescue them. Um, that is the Knight in Shiny Armor. <laughs> the Knight of Swords. There you go. Well, whether you are male or female, it doesn't matter. And if you have someone in mind, excuse me, that is the energy I'm getting here. There is someone that you have in mind or someone you're seeing, someone involved. You 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 have a connection of some sort with. And it's calling for you to move forward at any cost. And no matter if it seems, if it's stepping outside your box and doing something you normally wouldn't do, like maybe asking if you're a female, maybe you're going to ask the male out. In this day and age, that's not even really a big deal. You can just do it even in a friendly way. Hey, I was going to go get her, grab a bite to eat, and I was wondering if you want to come along. <laughs> you know, it sounds kind of like just as friends, so there's no pressure on the other person. No pressure on you, no pressure on the other person. Just saying. Just saying. But there's a lot of um, good energy here with the sun card and positive energy. So I'm thinking that if you move forward and do this, there's going to be positive results here. Okay, and here's the two of, of wands. So this is what's underneath, possibly underneath the surface or within you. But, and this is maybe something you can't see yet. You need to move forward and there is going to be the sun. You're trying to choose which path do I take. Do I ask them out? Maybe I should. And sometimes if you're a female, you're thinking if you're, if you're kind of traditional or going by societal norms, so to speak. And I'm just noticing, oh my God, Libra, I have to take all these out. These are all twos. These are all twos. Do you know what that is? 
I mean, this, <laughs> this could be your soulmate. There's the intuition card again. Oh, let me let me slow down here. Let me do it card by card. So, so you're trying to choose which path to take. Uh, you're torn between two decisions, two paths, two of wands, two of swords, two of swords. Again, it's about the thoughts. You're caught in your head. You, you're having a hard time making a decision. You're in the dark. You you just you you're not seeing something, or you're in the dark about what you should do. And this this can also be don't focus on the external things. Look inside of you. What does your what does your heart tell you? Intuition. Intuition. And in the Rider Weight deck, the person is sitting, there's water, calm water behind them. So it's not so much you're maybe frantic, but there's calm water behind them and they're sitting like on some sort of a bench and they have I don't know, you, you can't see me, but put your hands over your chest as if you're guarding your heart. You know, and that's maybe you don't want to be hurt. You're afraid of being hurt or rejection. But there's the two of cups. Two of Cups, partnership, new love, a coming together. And again, in this picture, in this picture, that could very well be a female. So that's what I'm saying. Gender doesn't make any difference. Yeah, that could be a female. That could be a male. But this could be two males, two females. You know, love is love, right? This is beautiful, having all these twos. Because Scorpio, I'm telling you right now, whomever you're thinking of, Jump out, get out of your head, get out of your head, just act on it, just act on it. Swords are about communication and truth. Be, be, be true to yourself, but be true to this person too, and wow, I mean, I'm just blown away by the twos. All right, let's continue, because there's a number of other cards, I think I need to move this up so I have more room here. Um, we're going to put the twos all by themselves. Because that's speaking partnership. The only thing you don't have is the two of pentacles. But I mean, two of wands is about action, choosing a path. Two of swords is making it, you're, you're having a hard time making a decision. You're, you're not sure what decision to make, but it's about making a decision. And the two of cups is coming together with, you know, uh, a twin flame, a soulmate, your person. Awesome. And the ace of swords, another beginning, a new beginning here. Speaking the truth. This is the truth. So, if this isn't you, because the roles can be reversed. And if there are any cross-watchers out there, hello, cross-watchers. This could be you. Maybe you're deciding if you want to ask the Scorpio out. And what it's saying here, cross-watcher, if you're watching, go for it. You know, I, I have this feeling that if you are going towards the Scorpio, that the Scorpio may very likely feel the same way. Some sort of truth is going to come out. And it's going to be a whole new beginning for you and your person. Absolutely. Wow. Jeez. Here's another. Oh, my God. Scorpio. I'm going to finish this, but I'm telling you right now, this is a beautiful energy. And this may very well happen today, but it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. But whomever this is, this is your person. I think this is your person. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is the wheel is always turning. It's this person. Part of the journey has come full circle. The wheel has turned full circle and it's turning in your favor. And I almost see, I'm not even sure what those are down there. As the two of you, I see two again. And there's a lesson to be learned. Wheel of Fortune can also be about lessons. So what I'm hearing is, if you are going to take this leap of faith, and maybe step outside the box and do something you normally wouldn't do and be bold, that... You learn something about yourself, about going after what you want. And I'm not sure how, I don't really know that many Scorpios. I, I know Scorpios, but I haven't been around them enough to know. Um, I, I find them to be awesome people. I've gotten along with them. Um, water signs, they're emotional. I know the Scorpios are known to be very passionate, very, very passionate. I know the Scorpios can sometimes have... Um, and don't be offended by this, but bad tempers, because they're so passionate about things that they get fired up about things that may be a little overly fired up. But it's it's not so it's not bad to be passionate. So, anyways, the last card you have is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is this person you've you've been this person's concentrating. It's like the pentacles can be about work. So in this picture, it looks like they're studying or at work. But it can mean 
keep working at it. Don't lose focus. But what I'm hearing with this is that you have maybe been working on this, working on working up your nerve to ask this person out or whatever, ask them to be in a committed relationship, maybe even proposing. There's nothing here that suggests that, but you know, it's, you never know. All right, Scorpio. Let's clarify here. I don't even think I really need to clarify some of these, but we're just going to, for the sake of argument, do the Knight of Swords and the Sun together. What can you tell me, please, Spirit, for our Scorpios, February 2020? There's the truth again. There's your truth. Somebody's going to come forward and speak the truth. And I hear it's going to be um, about the way they feel. I mean, you don't have a whole lot of cups here. You just have the two of cups so far. But that's regardless. You have three twos. Three twos. Decision to make. Intuition. And I do believe you or your person following the heart. I think it's, I think it's you, Scorpio. I really do. You're going to follow your heart. And you're going to come together. Wow, that's just so cool. <laughs> just warms my soul. Um, but anyways, the Ace of Swords. There's a beginning here. King of Cups. All right, let me just take this off the bottom of the deck. There's the other two. I'm taking that out. <laughs> I'm taking that out. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm actually going to leave these out. I don't usually take from the bottom of the deck. But I'm going to because I feel they're telling me to do it. We're going to do the King of Cups first. So the King of Cups is a type of energy. It's a male energy, a masculine energy, I mean. Um, where the king can be caught in his head. He has a hard time expressing himself. The king. And he's got emotion. He has emotion, but he just has a hard time expressing it because he's caught in his head sometimes. But he's got a cup of love. And it's emotional maturity. It's emotional maturity. I'm thinking that whoever this is meant for, sometimes the King of Cups will suggest follow your heart, and that's what I'm hearing. Follow your heart. What do you want to do? Follow your heart. There's the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Up and down and up and down. And there's a there's an imbalance because it's indecision. Back and forth and back and forth. And the eight here is the infinity card. It's going on and on and on. But now is the time to speak your truth, Scorpio. Or this person's going to come speak their truth to you. To come together. I mean, this is a great partnership. You have every single two. There's passion. Maybe you guys communicate well. You know you have great talks. There's love. There's stability, loyalty, which is what pentacles are, are based on, is stability, loyalty, um, it's like I said, the material world, more grounded, and that's where it balances. If you can balance all this out, you make that decision, follow your heart, you're going to come together. And under that is the is the nine of swords. This Somebody's been worrying about it, somebody's been thinking about it, and it's keeping them up at night, giving them uh, nightmares or just so much stress. Wow, okay. This is, whoa, that one just flew right out. Wow. Scorpio, Six of Cups. There's another Cups. Six of Cups can be. Six of Cups is all about past. Whether it be memories, someone from your past. It's, uh, it's an energy of reconciliation. It can also mean a twin flame. If you are in the twin flame journey. So is the Two of Cups. I'm trying to see the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Swords. Um, I'm trying to feel the energy here, Scorpio. Being that it came out for the twos. This may be someone you know from your past who has had feelings for you or you've had feelings for them. And maybe you were involved in the past and you're going to re-reconcile and rekindle this romance. Let me just... Somebody's coming forward here. And being that the Six of Cups came out, it's it's very well could be someone from your past. 
three of pentacles on the bottom, which can be that, and maybe you two were friends and or dated. I you could have been involved. You built a strong foundation. And with the three of pentacles can mean either mastering yourself or working together, a team working together as a team. So I'm hearing you may come back, back together as a team and work together. Let me get some more information here. The Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Pentacles. I don't, is that more than one card? Nope, just one. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is... Um, so now what I'm hearing, though, with the Six of Cups here is young love is what I heard. Young love. Maybe this is somebody you knew, like you've been in high school or something, depending on how old you are, but someone from your past that you were younger and now you both have matured. And this person wants to offer you offer you a cup of love. He's got a little fish in here, right? He has a lot of emotion. I'm hearing fairy tale romance. This is going to be a fairy tale romance, Scorpio. And it could very well be someone from your past. And this person, pages are about communications. They're um. I, the pages are about fantasy, too. I hear that this person has been fantasizing, if you will, about coming together with you, about this moment. They're, they're trying to, they either were or are trying to figure out a way to communicate with you. They could very well be shy. I see the Page of Cups is almost kind of shy. It's a young energy, though. So this person could be younger than you. This could be someone that you knew, uh, that you knew when you both were young. Take that as it resonates. But with the Six of Cups, it could very well be someone from your past. And this person wants to offer you a cup of love. They want to offer you the cup. And I hear fairy tale romance. I'm hearing that very loudly. There you go. Fairy tale romance. Ten of Pentacles. The energy of the Ten of Pentacles is that of abundance in every way. This person has everything you've ever wanted in another person. And I, I am hearing that you're the one that's going to approach them. So, um, and it could reverse. It could be the other way. They may be coming to you, but I'm hearing that you're going to them. And that's not something that you normally would do or, or maybe you've been unsure about doing. Like I said, if it's someone from your past... Maybe you guys haven't been in contact. The two of you haven't been in contact. And one of you is a little leery about contacting contacting the other. Like, I haven't talked to this person in a long time. And I've always had a connection with them. I've always had feelings for them. And I'd like to talk to them. Maybe see if we can get something going again. Or go, if you are friends, get something going now. That we're older, we're more mature. All right. Maybe one of you was in a relationship, so the other one didn't act because of that. Or marriage, and now you're divorced. You know, so you both are free to, to come together and have a relationship. It just depends. These cards that I'm using the Oracle deck are the Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay, and the artwork is by Ginger Kelly. These are a little whimsical cards. These are, um, this is, I consider these kind of love cards because they're so whimsical. Um... I'm going to say lighthearted, but there's there's wisdom in it, too. So, let's see what comes up for you, Scorpio. This is a beautiful energy. It's a lot of positive energy. And with all these twos, I mean, there's a decision that has to be made. Someone's having a hard time making a decision, going back and forth and back and forth. But ultimately, the two of cups and the six of cups came out. It's like this is someone from your past. And if you go from the two to the six of cups is the four of cups, which is... Resistance in the picture of the right away deck. Um, the person's sitting, there's a cup, cup being offered, and they have three cups beside them. They have their eyes closed, and they almost have their head turned like no, or just no. Um, resistance, but I'm thinking that that's changed. Something has changed. Someone's been honest with themselves, or is coming. I'm hearing going to speak their truth though. With two ace of swords, I'm hearing. Speaking their truth. And then someone's going to spill their heart. Communicate and spill the heart. All right. Let's see what we have here. All right. Are you ready, Scorpio? Your card is temptation. Interesting. 
This is a fairly new deck for me. So I'm not familiar with this card. I'm not sure what this has to do with love, but let's see. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. The fair, this fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever its guise. Just feeling in denial about an unhealthy habit. I am actually going to see if I can get a little more clarification on that. And then I will go to the book and read the, but just see what, and maybe this makes sense to you as far as maybe one of you had an addiction and now have been through recovery. Oh, fudge. <laughs> I almost said something I shouldn't on camera. And I use that language in my everyday life, so it's, Oh, Lordy B, I can't get the clothes. So we're going to put those over there because I'm not using those. I just don't want to. All right. Get them out of the way. Um, but this one came out. Those kind of flew, but this one came out first. The Ace of Cups. Okay. I'm hearing a couple of things here. And then I'll read from the book for, about temptation. Okay. What I'm hearing is, because with the Ace of Cups, um, you have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. And again, the Ace of Cups can very well be a brand new start in love. And I am hearing that, a brand new start in love. But I'm also hearing some sort of transformation that one or both of you have learned how to self-love. Maybe that's what the Wheel of Fortune is here. Self-love. Have learned how to master self-love. Which in turn would be an emotional maturity. Um, maybe one of temptation. I'm thinking when I'm really when I first heard what the temptation is the page of cups. Because the page of cups is a young energy. Maybe this person wasn't um and if you were young, teenager or whatever, college age possibly, or you know, even beyond, but maybe this person wasn't mature enough and they were not willing or ready to commit to a stable a committed relationship monogamous relationship maybe they were just kind of into sowing their oats and and that's a temptation maybe it was they had a hard time being um faithful i mean it could be it doesn't have to be but it could be that's what i'm hearing with temptation but they're not like that anymore or you i mean again take it as it resonates um I'm hearing a lot of maturity and self, um, some sort of transformation between one or both of you. And it's, the like I said, the wheel has turned full circle now. And it doesn't say the wheel has to go fast. It doesn't mean the wheel's, it's turning. It's always turning. It's like the cycles of the moon. It's always turning. But the only way you can win with the Wheel of Fortune is to step up and take that leap of faith and spin the wheel. Because if you don't spin, you're never going to win. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> well, now I'm a poet. <laughs> Welcome to Deep Soul Poetry. If you don't spin, you don't win. <laughs> Take that with you. That's your little daily affirmation. If you don't spin, you don't win. <laughs> you can't win. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get let's get to the temptation, shall we? <clears throat> all right. The fairy of temptation reminds us that we all have desires. This is part of the human condition and is totally fine. Desires may be things that make us happy and feel good, or be activities that can be potential that can potentially harm us, such as smoking, drinking, or substance abuse. And I'm going to even put that out there: um, uh, sex addiction, you know, um, other addictions. Alternative, alternatively, there's the temptation to be or feel holier than thou, or the most spiritual, showing us that temptation can manifest in many ways. Junk food is something many people are tempted by. This is mainly due by the way it's advertised, but also when we're craving certain nutrients and vitamins, in which case we tend to, we tend to get a quick fix by eating things that are often very sugary. Guilty! 
Okay, Scorpio, all of you out there, raise your hand if you're guilty for that. <laughs> We can learn to overcome the negative aspect of temptation with the help of the fairies. Go outside into nature, dig a small hole, and whisper or shout out loud, out loud anything you wish to remove from your life. These can be temptations that do not or no longer serve your highest spiritual and physical good. Now fill in the hole with the soil you dug out. The fairies can help you transmute your misdirected energy into healthy, harmonious, and positive energy so you feel rebalanced and realigned. The more balanced you are, the less likely you are to succumb to temptation. The more balanced you are, there's the balance there, um, the less likely you are to succumb to temptation. The fairy of temptation is not a judge of temptation. She is merely showing ways in which you can regain control over this aspect of your life. She can make us feel empowered and able to say no to the things we know aren't good for us. With empowerment comes confidence. And with confidence comes the ability to make positive choices in our lives. I'm liking that. I'm liking that because temptations can... It can even be being a workaholic. Work can be your main focus where you kind of... It can be anything. It doesn't even have to be substance abuse. I mean, it can be. But, you know, again, take it as it resonates. Um, I'm feeling a lot of transformation here. And with the twos here, I'm feeling that this could very well be your soulmate. Um, and maybe you guys had a great connection when you were young. And again, maybe you dated, maybe you didn't, but you've always had a great connection. And now that you're older and more mature, you've gone through, um, life's lessons. With that comes wisdom, emotional maturity, uh, you name it. Not everyone. I mean, sometimes people still get stuck in that emotional immaturity and, you know, no matter how old you are, but, but in general, in general, but everything is a lesson, whether they, people realize it or not, there are lessons in there and they may not even realize they've learned something, but I'm focusing on the sun and the ace of swords. There is some sort of truth. And for some reason I was called to take out the emotional maturity and the, uh, the two, because you had all three twos and this other two came out. This is absolutely I mean, that is a balanced partnership. Again, that can be financial, stability, emotional. A you guys have great communication. And maybe you haven't been in communication. But you, when you guys talk, it just kind of, it's an easy, you know, way to, you, you're comfortable. You're comfortable with each, with each other. And there's passion. The wands is about passion and action. Wands are about action, too. Maybe you guys do a lot of things together. A lot of fun. I mean, you name it. Ace of Swords is here twice. Someone's going to speak the truth. And this could be your soulmate. That's what I'm hearing. So the temptation card doesn't mean that this person's going to have temptation outside your relationship. It's that, um, and sometimes just acknowledging it can, um, and which may have happened. Maybe one of you were, maybe you weren't young, young, but it's someone from your past. Someone from your past that was too, I don't want to say self-involved, but involved in something, whether it be work school and they just didn't have either time or wasn't able to balance a relationship but now the wheel has turned it's a whole new situation here fairy tale romance fairy tale romance that's what i'm hearing scorpio i hope this helped you in some way i really hope it did I hope um, today is a wonderful day for you. If this did resonate, I ask, um, please like, hit the like button. And I ask that you consider subscribing. Um, hit the bell button. Subscribe and hit the bell button. So, um, I mean, I do these monthly, Zodiac Signs. And again, it could be your moon, Venus, or rising also. Um, I do daily reads that can give you more information on your situation. Um, I just did a twin flame read. If you're involved in a twin flame um, situation, I was called to do that today did that did a daily read which is also a love read today was all about love um, um because it's valentine's day and i do moon 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 phase readings every other week so i ask that you consider subscribing and even if this didn't resonate you have you never know if you subscribe and hit the bell button there may be future videos that might resonate for you 
Um, and I ask that you, um, like I said, if it resonated and you did like this, hit the like button. Um, and comment if you would, please. I would love to hear from you and even the cross watchers, you know, feel free, feel free. That's kind of your forum down there to communicate with me and amongst your other people, your tribe, whether it be the same sign or just other people, um, and share if you would share with your other Scorpios. Um, I'd love to get this spirit is calling me to do this, get these messages out. And I would love for the messages to reach as many people as possible. And hopefully, uh, well, hopefully all of it resonates, and if it doesn't all resonate, at least some of it. Um, but anyways, um, so please consider subscribing and hitting the bell button so you can see future, not you get, get future notifications of when I do videos. And I promise in future videos, I'm going to learn how to talk better. <laughs> I talk too fast as it is. And I've had coffee, so I'm having a hard time enunciating, and I apologize. <laughs> Because I know that's hard to hear when someone does that. So I apologize. I acknowledge that. Uh, that's something I need to work on. Um, but um, please, thank you for tuning in. And I please, I hope that you will please return. Would love to have you. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day and a wonderful weekend. And I hope you will join me again. Bye-bye.